my mom and stepdad died in an accident. Since then, things just haven't been right. My stepsister Yuki and I were survivors, sure, but we lived like zombies. A few weeks ago, she decided she had had enough. The cyborgs promise happiness, so she left, and I didn't stop her. Hey there guys, let's play the dishwasher. His voice scenes are getting harder and harder to get the way I like them. Zombies! What game is complete without zombies? And just like their predecessors, they are slow and dumb and kind of bony and desperately needing more protein in their diet, which is probably why they go after brains. Huh. I, I think I just discovered the answer to the universe. In a let's play. Anyway, the best way to take care of these guys is to grab them. I mean, if you want the easy way out. These are another one of this game's enemies that will die immediately after a, a grab attack is, is done. You know what I mean? If you like the way my sentences are put together, I sure do. However, I don't really do this too often because, to be honest, it's really fun to just beat the tar out of them. Um, now, unlike most zombies, they are actually pretty quick when it comes to attacking. Um, their attack animation is rather fast and will sometimes take priority over yours. But that aside, they move very slowly. I mean, you don't really have to worry about them getting in your way unless they're right up against you. And let's be honest, nobody wants a zombie right up against them. That is, that is a staph infection waiting to happen. Uberfish, which are another health restorative item. Much more powerful than the Nutribread, because they're uber, and of course they're a form of meat. And meat is the um, the backbone of every samurai's diet, whether or not he's he's alive or dead. Don't argue. Fish. You need it. Uberfish will fully heal your life bar, no matter where it is. Now we have a choice, we're going down, and you'll see why soon, but until then, you're in the dark, much like we are. It sort of looks like a well of sorts, but with the water and the cylindrical cylindarity of it all. You know what I mean? Wah! Right in the face. When there are too many zombies in the way and I just don't feel like mowing through them all, a little bit of dish magic is all it takes to brighten up the sunny sky. I mean, the cloudy sky, and make it sunny. Shut up. My thoughts are pure. Pure like driven snow. Now this room is sort of a pain in the butt. You do have the high ceiling that I love so much, but these soldiers will occasionally go up, as they are known to do, but in the middle. And if you don't time your shifting perfectly, you can find yourself warping up to the screen above you, and then you'll have to come back down and redo the entire room again, which is great if you want to farm spirals, but if you want to make progress, it's kind of a kick in the face. Not gonna lie. So let's open this barrel up, see what sort of goodies it holds for us. The Kama! This is my favorite weapon, but I'm going to call them the Sickles because I'm not a weeaboo. No, someone did not just say weeaboo. The Sickles are a lot like the Butcher Knives. The Cleavers, as they are also called. They're fast, they don't do too much damage, at least right away. But I like them better because their combos are a lot flashier, they come out a lot faster, and they last a lot longer. Now, uh, I have enough spirals to upgrade the sickles, but I don't have any psycho picks, which is kind of a shame. How fortunate that there happens to be a guitar in this screen, which you definitely want to go and do. Solo time! <clears throat>
and that rewards us with a psycho pick. Now don't worry, you don't have to get 100% to earn the pick. I think you only need 70% or higher. So that's that's a reasonable goal to go for, considering how uh, how few the buttons how few buttons there are to press during that whole sequence. Uh, there are a lot more buttons to press as you hike the difficulty up. On Samurai, it uh, it feels a lot more like a uh, a Guitar Hero type game. That was more like you know very very weak. But, regardless of that, and things named Bob, I can now upgrade the Sickles, which gives me access to more combos. More! More! In fact, the Sickle is probably going to be my mainstay weapon. More on that in a second. What is in this barrel? We all wonder, in the bottoms of our hearts. It is the Amulet of Shadow Skull, not, unlock, not unlike the Amulet of Phantom Rock, except this one you can use with a second player controller. You don't need the guitar peripheral, and it's a little bit more useful, assuming you have friends. So, with that item, you can have a cooperative two-player games, and the second player never dies. Permanently, anyway. So I'll be using the sickle for the majority of the game. I'll show off the other weapons, and I'll even use them a little bit. But just know that uh, this is basically my bread and butter, and it is so delicious. Oh, you don't even know. It's 60% whole wheat, and I can't believe it's not butter. This stuff is delicious. So we're now in a cage match, and we have been for about a minute now, so you probably know this already without me telling you so, but you're lost without the soothing, dulcet tones of my voice troll. Box. Chest. So, as you can see, the sickles are amazing for chaining combos together, and it looks good. It is so stylish, except when I run up walls and get shot and then hit nothing. Not so stylish. Kind of hoping a zombie would be there for me. They're never there when you need them. Just constantly being failures. Failures that I just cannot respect. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, so I kind of respect them a little bit more than I did a second ago, but, um, yeah, still not so much. Dish magic. I don't have time for you guys. Now once the, uh, the sickles get upgraded again, that is their final upgrade. Each weapon has a total of three. Uh, the shift blade being the most expensive as it is the, uh, the backbone of your arsenal. So I'm going to try and focus on that as well. Kama comes first, though, because I'm a Kama chameleon. That was a pretty bad joke, but I don't care, and I never will. But we don't worry about things like that. We worry about cemetery keys and cemetery doors that open cemetery floors and allow us to fight cemetery cyborgs of a skull tank nature. Now, this guy is pretty big and menacing, but he's not that bad. He likes to charge at you and breathe fire and be a big jerkosaurus rex that I don't care for, but I just try not to get hit by any of that stuff. Especially the Jerkosaurus thing. It's mind-blowing. Nobody needs that on a Friday. Ow! Okay, so definitely watch out for the fire. Make really good use of the shift blade when he does that. Assuming he's ever going to stop. I'm going to take a break there, champ. No? Alright, well, it was worth a shot. In that case, I'm going to make like Josh and drop on you from the ceiling. And occasionally shove knives into your face. Because I'm a good host. I take care of my guests. You are a guest in my ass-kicking museum. In fact, you're the current hot exhibit on the floor. That's that's basically the way that I threaten I, I say things that make absolutely no sense. And it's pretty intimidating. Because, I mean, confusion is, is, a, is a hell of a drug. Ow! That was really badly timed. And was not my fault at all. It was all the side. But that, that was my fault. You know what, man? Skull Tank? Getting tired of you. Now, if you don't want to get hit by the fire, and you don't want to use your shift blade like a smart person, there are two crates that are conveniently placed at either side of the arena, if you call them that. And, uh, how are you still not dead yet? Just come here, come here, come here, come here! No, 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 over here. Yes, okay. Let's do this. I took him out with honor, with style, with grace. Ah. Goodbye. Next time on Let's Play, The Dishwasher.